Hey folks, welcome back to another video. This is a hunting video, so I'm gonna to cut to the chase here. Um, I'm shooting this intro a week later. I just wanted to think about the intro a little bit and just talk to you guys. Uh, what I've done in this video is I've used some very unconventional camouflage and anything's possible as long as you know how to use it. So enjoy the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll leave some details in the description. And uh, yeah, keep watching, folks. We're going to start following the blood trail. Look at this, huh? Pouring blood. I just want to show you that broadhead. Now this is a 200 grain Holy Trinity broadhead. Solid steel. I'm very, very impressed with these. I get a pass through with everything I hit. Total arrow weight is 760 grains just insane stuff all right let's see if we can find it let's look at the blood here it's insane look at it She's not helping me. Man, it's looking to me like she might have run into this gunk. You don't want to see this stuff. I don't know if it's possible to see on the camera, but have a look at those thorns, they're nasty. Okay, so she came up this way. That's good. Not in the nasty stuff anyway. Well, not yet. Ha ha! Ha ha! Look what we've got there, people. Okay, so she took a bit of a zigzag trail and uh, 
we found it. Okay, there's a quite a bit of nastiness there for YouTube, so we're gonna keep it out, but uh, the pig is down, people. Okay, so people, we got the job done this afternoon. Did it in my city slicker gear. Something that I wanted to prove for the last couple of years, that one can hunt pretty much in any clothing. It doesn't have to be top shelf, expensive gear i mean you can hunt in ac kerman's gear and you can still get it right people might say well you know you were an elevated stand um you know you weren't really a threat to the pigs let me tell you these pigs at sub 25 yards their eyesight is pretty good up down all around it's just how you do it and that, that's where experience comes in um these pigs are bait thieves um, I can come and put bait out here at this uh, bush pig baiting site after hours in the dark. These pigs come in and they eat it every night. So they're costing me money. So this is two sows with a couple of piglets. The piglets are old enough to be um, to be on their own now. So we got the job done tonight. I'm very impressed with these arrows. I only ever bought three of them and I've not been able to break one yet. And I thought tonight would be the first time. Broadhead I'm using is a, 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 a three blade Holy Trinity, 200 grains. Total arrow weight, 760 grains. I'm shooting 70 pounds, which is more than enough at that distance. Uh, the pig went about 80 yards, double lung shot, so it was pretty good. One thing that was a big game changer for me today is the wind was horrible. And it's another reason that I went into the tree stand today with... <laughs> my tidy whiteies, so to speak, is that uh, I've recently been made a member of No Scent, and with the wind doing what it was doing to today, where we've got swirling winds, we've got winds, we've got a cold front that's moving up from the Cape, and basically always prior to a cold front we get these winds that are just unstable and all over the place. So I went through all the hard work of using laundry pods I washed myself with hair and face wash or hair and body wash by no scent I put field spray on my shoes put field spray on myself I did everything and people it worked those pigs must have smelt me there's no ways with that wind that was swirling this way and that way I mean I checked the wind a few times while I was sitting up there and I just thought my goodness these things are gonna bust me anytime so Basically the point I'm trying to get to, and it's not just because I, I'm a pro staff member for no scent, but this stuff really works. I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted. I'm excited to share with you more experiences with no scent, be they good or be they bad. But from what I saw today, a pig has got a super keen nose and they just couldn't bust me. So thank you for watching this. Um, I'm not going to take any sort of glorified shots of this pig. Um, it is pretty messy. He went about 80 yards, or not he, she. She went about 80 yards. And uh, there was a very good blood trail. There were some places that I just didn't want to walk through because uh, I kind of felt that we here consists of uh, Gilhak, which is like a yellow thorn. Um, Blingblars, which is another sort of uh, hook, hook thorn trees. And it just gets a bit nasty inside that stuff. So I did a sort of a lot of skipping along the bloodline but the bloodline was really easy to follow. So thank you for watching the African Allure Hunting Safaris video. Please hit us up with a like and a subscribe down below. Hit the bell button, follow us. I hope I can bring you some more. Thanks for being with us, folks. Good, good night. Mm -hmm.